held on Monday, January 4th, 2016 at 7 p.m. when the City Council Chambers will come to order. As we begin tonight, we are saddened by the passing of our former colleague, uh, Councilwoman and Mayor Angela Pearson, and we want Angela's family to know that they are in our thoughts and prayers. We welcome Mr. Don Poe for the invocation from Fellowship General Baptist Church, and as we stand for the invocation, I would ask that we would have a moment of silence in memory of Angela. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the privilege of serving you and this community. Thank you for these women and men of our city council who are giving their time of their life, time out of their life to, to serve our community. Tonight I ask you, Lord, to guide the discussions they will be having. Give each member the knowledge and the wisdom concerning the future of our community. May their decisions help Poplar Bluff continue to be the city that we all can be proud of and live proud of. Lord, also we ask that you be with the uh, Parsons, Parsons family. Angela wanted to see this city to be a better place to live as she served as a member of the city council and then mayor. May her family and friends feel your comfort as she will be greatly missed. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Poe, for being here. May we have the roll call, please? <clears throat> Councilman DeGarris. Here. Councilman Crocker. Here. Councilman Tinsley. Here. Councilwoman Fox. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Here. And Mayor Amshire. Here. Have a <coughs> Thank you. Disclosure of interest to any member of the City Council may disclose any possible conflict of interest dealing with either with any item on the printed agenda or with any matter discussed at a previous meeting. Madam Mayor, I'd like to disclose a possible conflict on item H and E. Okay, thank, thank you, Councilman. Any other? If not, we will move to citizens' input. Each person in the audience may take this opportunity to address the City Council on any matter which is not on the printed agenda. Seeing none, we will move to workshop uh, required items. Item A, the council, City Council will review a proposed application for a taxi cab service. The applicant is Donnie Arbuckle doing business as Arbuckle City Cab located at 440 Highway 53. Mr. Massingham. Yes, Madam Mayor. Uh, Mr. Donnie Arbuckle has applied for an application to run a taxi cab business. He's purchasing City Cab from Mr. Billy Morgan. Uh, city ordinance says that other taxi cab services must be notified and have the opportunity to oppose a new taxi cab service. Uh, no one has done that at this time. Uh, I would just recommend that you pass this on to the voting session. I think he asked for this to be on tonight so he could go ahead and get this purchased and running. What type of insurance does he have to carry to have a taxi cab service? Two million. Is it two million? Does he have that? Yes. Any questions, input from council or the audience? Make a motion to move this item to the voting session to be held tonight. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to move item A to the voting session, which will be held this evening. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Motion carried. Item B, the City Council will review bids received for the sale of city property located on 14th Street. Mr. Massingham. Yes, uh, we had two bids on this property. Uh, Mr. Rick Sisney was the high bidder with $2,000, and we had one other bid, I think it was five or $501. We're just recommending that we accept Mr. Sisney's bid and 
Uh, this will be voted on at the next council meeting if you all pass it. I make a motion we move this to the next voting session, which is January 19th, I believe. Been 19th. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to move agenda item B to the next voting session, January 19. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Item C, the City Council will review bids received for the sale of city property located at 1935 Barron Road. Mr. Massingham? Yes, we also received two bids on this. Uh, this was the house that was donated to the city by the property owner. Uh, the city tore it down. We had approximately $6,000 in landfill expenses. Uh, I would recommend that we uh, go with the high bid of $7,005 for Mr. Sam Shock. And that's also on the next voting session. I make a motion we move this to January 19th meeting for a vote. Voting. Motion has been made and seconded to move agenda item C to the January 19th voting session. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Item D, the City Council will review a proposal from the Spyglass Group LLC relative to an audit performed on the city's telephone landlines, cell phones, and internet services. Mr. Yeah. Massingham. Yes, this was brought before council <clears throat> several months ago. Uh, they've completed their audit uh, up to this point. They can save us around $1,500. Uh, that's not including cell phone services. And we would just suggest that this be passed on to the next voting session also. <coughs> Thank you. Any questions or input from the council or audience? Where's the savings coming from? It's hard for me to tell. I think there were actually some lines that we had that weren't even being used. Uh, there, was there was a duplicate. duplicate. Is there a T1 line coming from that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I don't know either. This is really, this is minimal uh, information compared to what they've mm -hmm. done before. I can have that for you before the next meeting. Okay. Are we going to overlap internet service with any other carrier? No. Any other questions? <coughs> Make a motion to move this to the voting session on the 19th. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to move to voting session January 19. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Item E, the City Council discuss accepting Barron Road Extension west to Highway W from Hillis Developments LL City to the City of Poplar Bluff. Mr. Massingham. Yes, Madam Mayor, this is the ro these are the roads that uh, Mr. Hillis built <coughs> that goes down to W Highway and it's the section, I think you turn right off of that street and it goes back at dead ends. Uh, he just built that road for uh, future development. Uh, it's been inspected by the street superintendent. It's up to code. We would just recommend that it be accepted as a street. Any questions, comments from the council or audience? I guess it will remain Barron Road as the name. Well, actually, we accepted... Uh, We accepted that back last year, I think, the Barron Road section. This is actually just the other. I don't know that he has a That's name for it or not. He said he didn't have a name for it yet. Yeah, I don't think he's named it yet. He may be <laughs> waiting to see what was actually going to be built back there. Yeah, it's not a big deal in a certain sort of way. I'm just curious. Make a motion to move this item to the voting session of the 19th. Second. Second. The motion has been made and seconded to move item E to the voting se session of January 19. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Item F, the City Council will review proposals received for grant administration of CDBG funds for a project consisting of a flood buyout with relocation and a hydraulic study of a local creek. Mr. Avery. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the council. Uh, this is a grant that 
was started previously and was configured differently than what it is now. Uh, it is a flood buyout targeting the Hillcrest Park area and the residences just to the north of that uh, be Second Street Grand Relief. Uh, if any of you were out la early last week, you would have seen the area in question with the water covering quite a bit of it. Isn't the first time this is flooded, so uh, we've got letters out to 32 properties. Uh, we are uh, working with Ozark Foothills Regional Planning Commission, and uh, we're going to buy out or make offers on properties in that area. <clears throat> and uh, there is relocation money assistance available. That's what the relocation statement in there was. Uh, we're also going to study a a portion of Pike Creek uh, between PP Highway and 67 Highway uh, with some of the funds from this with the approval of Community Development Block Grant uh, administrators out of uh, state level. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Matt Winters is here from Ozark Foothills tonight. If, I ha if there are questions that you have that I'm not able to answer, this is a substantial grant, uh, $995,000 uh, is what we expect to spend. Uh, we are limited as to the amount we can apply for. Total funds will, uh, will exceed that a little bit and we will have some in-kind contributions from the city. The uh, Ozark Foothills will charge a uh, rate of 4% of the grant plus a $10,000 fee to administer the grant. Uh, they are uh, ready to cooperate with us on this and Community Development Block Grant administrators requested that Ozark Foothills participate with the city for the city to obtain the grant. So, other questions? That water down in Hillcrest, there's, does the river actually come up that far? Or is there Once not? water levels in the river get up to a certain point, the water doesn't go out and it has, <coughs> pardon me, and it has to be pumped out. Okay. And that's what was going on uh, early and mid late last early and mid week last week uh, and the rainfall s didn't stop after they closed the uh, uh, channel off that went into the river right. so uh, wasn't as high as it was in 2011 but there was a fair amount of water down there right. uh, took them about I'm gonna say 32 hours to get it pumped back down to where there wasn't any water on the ground you know on the surface so yeah, yeah. That's, that's an ongoing problem we have there. Do you have an estimate on what the city's portion would be? Uh, it's going to be in kind. We're not going to have any out of pocket. Okay. But after this, we'll have all the houses out of where it floods? We're going to make offers on them. Uh, it's a voluntary buyout, so I can't guarantee you that they're going to sell. Uh, we will have appraisals done and, and, and value them, and that's what will determine what the offer is given. And then relocation money for renters is available, and relocation money for people that own and live in their own home is available as well. Dennis, you sent out, what, 30 letters? Is 32. 32 letters, and yes. had how many responses? Uh, 21 right now. Oh, for the flood. For the yes. yes, 21. Oh, you were talking about for the bid on it. Yes. Uh, and we have, we have hopes that we'll get a few more, uh, but that's going to put us about where the money will take us to. But uh, yes. But I would like to. I would like to get all of them down there. But since it's a voluntary thing, uh, we can't make them sell. But we last week should have been a very good reminder to them what's going to happen. You know what can it, it, it's going to happen again, and we just don't know when, or the or the severity of it. So, you know, this was something we felt we could do and, and needed to do. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Dennis. You. Other questions, comments? Move to the 19th. Yeah, I propose we move this to the voting session on the 19th. Second. Second. <coughs> Motion has been made and seconded to move item F to the voting session. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. 
Item G, the City Council will discuss a proposed ordinance accepting a bid and authorizing the mayor to execute a lease agreement for agricultural land. Mr. Bott. Yes, Madam Mayor, members of the council. Uh, this is on the east side of Lagoon, and we had originally put that out for a five-year lease. Uh, came back through the understanding the city would need to mitigate some property out, so uh, we would recommend that we go for a period of three years instead of five years. Uh, same cost as before per year. Uh, discussed this at an earlier advisory board meeting, and their recommendation was the same to approve this for a three year. Mr. Nelson. <coughs> Any questions? Can he reapply for it after the three years for the park fleet? That's not being used. Correct. Once uh, we're hoping in three years, the engineers will know exactly how many acres we have to mitigate out, and we'll uh, we'll figure out how to identify that area, and then we'll we'll see what's farmable, and then we'll okay. we'll farm that. Or we'll uh, lease that back out after that. He called me and asked me that. So yeah. Hold on, you tell him. Other questions, comments. Motion to move this to the voting session to be held tonight. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to move item G to the voting session to be held this evening. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Item H, the City Council will discuss a proposed ordinance authorizing the mayor of the City of Popper Bluff, Missouri to execute agreement between the City of Popper Bluff and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW, Local 702 for its members who are employees of the City of Popper Bluff Electric Department. Mr. Bott. Yes, Madam Mayor, members of the Council. Uh, we've completed our negotiations, and the only changes made to the agreement were wages in the term. Uh, for 2016, it was a 2% increase. For 2017, <coughs> it was a 4% increase, and the term of the agreement uh, is for two years. And I'd recommend the council approve this agreement with IBEW Local 702. Are there any questions? Make questions, comments? Questions, comments? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a motion. We move it to the voting session. Second. Mo motion has been made and second to move item H to the voting session. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> moving, moving to action required items. Item AA, Bill Number 7871. The City Council will take action on an ordinance awarding a bid on the Hero Grant Project. Move for first reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for first reading of Bill Number 7871. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Mr. Smith. In order to the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the Mayor to execute a contract awarding a bid for the Hero Grant Project. Move for second reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for second reading of Bill Number 7871. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> Robert, Robert, Robert. Mr. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I was in deep thought. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In ordinance of the city of Poplar Left, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute a contract awarding the bid for the Hero Grant project. Move for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of Bill Number 7871. Roll call, please. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Tinsley. Yes. Councilwoman Fox. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Yes. And Mayor Abshire. Yes. We have six yes votes. Bill Number 7871 has been adopted. Bill, uh, item BB, Bill Number 7872. The City Council will take action on an ordinance authorizing the Mayor to execute an addendum agreement to the current power supply agreement between the City of Poplar Bluff and Southwestern Power Administration. Move for first reading of Bill Number 7872. Second. 
Motion has been made and seconded for first reading of bill number 7872. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute an addendum to the agreement between the city of Poplar Bluff and the Southwestern Power Administration. Move for second reading. Second. Motion has been made for second reading of bill number 7872. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute an addendum to the agreement between the city of Poplar Bluff and Southwestern Power Administration. Move for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of Bill Number 7872. Roll call, please. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Tinsley. Yes. Councilman <coughs> Fox. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Yes. Mayor Epshear. Yes. We have six yes votes. Thank you. Bill Number 7872 has been adopted. <coughs> Item CC, Bill Number 7873, the City Council will take action on a proposed ordinance issuing a taxicab license to Arbuckle City Cab. Move for first reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for first reading of Bill Number 7873. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorize the issuance of a taxi cab license to Arbuckle City Cab. Move for second reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for second reading of Bill Number 7873. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorize the issuance of a taxi cab license to Arbuckle City Cab. Move for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of Bill Number 7873. Roll call, please. Councilman Tinsley. Yes. Councilwoman Fox. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Yes. Mayor Epshear. Yes. Six yes votes. Thank you. Bill Number 7873 has been adopted. Item DD, Bill Number 7874. The City Council will take action on an ordinance accepting a bid and authorizing the Mayor to execute a lease agreement for agricultural land. Move for first reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for first reading of Bill Number 7874. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorize the Mayor to execute a lease agreement between Mike Nelson in the city of Poplar Bluff for agricultural land. Move for second reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for second reading of Bill Number 7874. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute a lease agreement between Mike Nelson and the city of Poplar Bluff for agricultural land. Move for, Move adoption. for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of Bill Number 7874. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Fox. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Tinsley. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Yes. Mayor Epsh. Yes. Six yes votes. Thank you. Bill Number 7874 has been adopted. Item EE, -E, Bill Number 7875. The City Council will take action on an ordinance authorizing the Mayor of the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri to execute an agreement between the City of Poplar Bluff and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, EBEW, Local 702, for its members who are employees of the City of Poplar Bluff Electric Department. Move for first reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for first reading of Bill Number 7875. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement <coughs> between the city and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW Local 702. Move for second reading. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for second reading of Bill Number 7875. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. In order to the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement between the city and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW, Local 702. 
Move for adoption. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adoption of bill number 7875. Roll call, please. Councilman Crocker? Yes. Councilman Tinsley? Yes. Councilwoman Fox? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Johnson? Yes. Mayor Ampshire? Yes. We have five yes votes and one abstention. Thank you. Bill number 7875 has been adopted. We will now have the city manager's report, Mr. Massing. Yes, well, as most of you know, we had a lot of water last week. Uh, could have been a lot worse than what it was. I'm only familiar with one person that uh, had to have a place to stay one night down on Relief Street. She called and asked if we were going to have something set up, and I ended up con contacting uh, Robbie Myers, and I think she ended up contacting uh, United Way, and they helped her out. So that was the only person I was aware of. But I just want to thank all the emergency service workers, utilities, street, fire, police, sheriff's office, uh, county fire department. Uh, a lot of work went into all that last week, and like I said, we were lucky it didn't rain more than it did. So, but other than that, I don't have anything to report, Madam Mayor. Anything else to come before the council? Move for adjournment. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for adjournment. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. This meeting is adjourned.